Hey guys, Static here. Today on Dungeon Guide, we're going to be covering Veteran Hard Mode Spindle Clutch 1. The mobs in Spindle Clutch are mostly spiders. They don't do much other than shoot some web AoEs onto the ground and kind of light attack and shoot from a distance. The thing you have to remember with spiders, though, is they will eat each other's corpses to heal themselves, so you always bash that. This boss is just a larger version of all the spiders you've faced up until this point. He's going to put AoEs on the ground, he's going to light attack, he's going to spit some webs, and he is going to try and eat some corpses to heal himself as he does at the end of the fight here. So once again, always try and bash. The spiders keep getting bigger in this dungeon. Now this one does all the same mechanics of the other spiders in this dungeon with the exception of now it does a heavy attack that your tank needs to block and also it will randomly jump at a person in the group typically someone who's farther away and your tank just has to chase them down so just keep on her burn down the ads and burn her down This boss will be surrounded by a lot of ads, so you're going to have to burn all of those down before you can really focus on the mechanics of her. She doesn't have too many moves, she just will be doing heavy attacks, which your tank is going to want to block. And also, she does this where you can bash her. It's going to be like an immobilize, a crippling grasp, like a nightblade skill. So as long as you bash that, you'll never get CC'd. This boss has a chain attack, which you'll see immediately on me here. He pulls a random person in, so you never know who it's going to be. He also does a charge attack, so just watch out, step to the side, or block through his charge attack, and you'll be fine here. Hard mode is activated by reading the scroll as you enter the last corridor, so don't forget to read this before engaging. It's important to note that you can burn down all these ads in front of the boss before you ever engage her, so be careful to not move to the back of the room as she will pull while you're still trying to fight the trash. So burn down the trash and then worry about her. This boss fight can actually be one of the hardest in the game if you're not following the mechanics. So you really need to watch for her two ranged attacks. The first one will be going out on me here. That's a blind. The second one is a disease ball. I dodge rolled mine, my buddy dodge rolled his. The next thing she'll do is pull in a member, usually the one farthest from her, and then do this giant AoE attack. So that AoE can be a one shot on a lot of people, most people even on hard mode. Let's talk about the difference between the two ranged attacks. The disease ball is just damage. The blue wavy shot that comes out is going to be a blind. If you get hit by that, you're going to stand in place, your screen's going to turn blue, and you're not going to be able to move. That can be really problematic if you get hit with that while you're inside of her red AoE range. It's a good idea to be on four corners of her, that way it's very clear and apparent when she turns to look at you. This fight can be difficult for Magicka users, just because it's very stamina oriented. You need stamina to either sprint or dodge roll out of the red AoE. You need stamina to be able to dodge roll her ranged attacks. So. It might be a good idea to switch up food or something for this fight, switch up your potions. Just make sure you have the stamina sustained to be able to watch out for these attacks. If your group does not follow the mechanics on this fight, you're going to have a lot of deaths. That doesn't mean you can't finish this boss. The way that you can do that is just through very, very quick resing. As soon as a body hits the floor, get a res off. If you see a ranged attack coming for you, just dodge roll it and you go right back to the res. You can get through this fight by very quick resing. It's just a lot easier if you never have those deaths in the first place. So practice makes perfect here. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Please smash that like and subscribe button below for future content releases. I really appreciate the support everybody's been showing me. So I want to just say thank you to each and every one of you. It really means a lot to me. See you guys later and catch you next time.